I always receive compliments. I like your outfit. You have a nice smile. You are so tall. All right, maybe I made that last one up. However, today I'm going over the compliments I receive and what I do to get those compliments. Now, smelling good starts with prevention. You want to make sure you don't smell bad. So taking a shower will be the start and you have to wash everywhere, especially the more problematic areas. From here, I like to use an unscented moisturizer and apply fragrance on it. it. Just makes it last a little bit longer and you absolutely cannot forget deodorant. Now I do that specifically in that order because the best way to start is prevention. Once you're making sure that you don't smell bad, that's where you can move on to what I like to think of the best part fragrances. Now look, I have a ton of colognes, but you do not need that many to smell good. Just to start off with, I recommend picking one that's very versatile, that's perfect, whatever you do most of the day. So if you don't really go out, mostly just go to school, you can get something light and subtle. I'll have everything I use linked in the description. This is one of my favorite compliments to get, and luckily, I hear it quite often. Now, I don't say that to sound arrogant. I'm just saying, you can have the same thing. I love teaching others on how to dress, and honestly, this topic deserves its own video. But here are a few style tips that have helped me receive compliments. Wearing something that stands out. Look, having a bold piece that you wear specifically to gain attention, that is a perfect way to get noticed. Now, a mistake that a lot of younger guys make is thinking that means something expensive. I promise you, no one cares how much you spent on the sunglasses you're wearing or the shirt that you just picked up. A good way to get something bold are underrated pieces or something in a color that you don't see too often. That being said, the next style tip is colors that complement each other. Now, color blocking is its own thing, and truthfully, I don't really focus on that too much myself. I like to stick color palettes or you could pretty much just eyeball what looks good try some color combinations out on the mirror for example brown and a cream or an olive green with the color black again that's just off of the top of my head but what i can do is look in the mirror see if i like it see if it looks good and that determines whether i decide to change or keep that another thing is well-fitting pieces now unfortunately when it comes to fashion there's no one size fits all this means you have to experiment you have to look at your body style and see what complements it if you're a slimmer guy fitted pieces look great but that doesn't mean your entire wardrobe has to be the same fit you could experiment with a bunch of different things for example jeans they're slim fit baggy regular straight however all those the one thing you shouldn't wear is skinny but pretty much my point is there are plenty of different fits and you never know what you're gonna like until you try it out so experiment with what you can see what you like and go from there and versatile pieces buying one thing and making sure you're able to wear it with anything else in your outfit now what i like is sneakers all my sneakers are extremely versatile meaning i could throw on whatever and it doesn't matter which sneaker i pick it's going to work well with my outfits now that includes stuff like air force ones air max 97s even new balance 550s these are all great options that are extremely versatile this is probably the compliment I receive the most. Having a nice smile makes you more likable and more attractive. So here's exactly what I do to get mine. Hygiene is very important, making sure your teeth are clean and fresh. Now, teen cleat doesn't necessarily mean a white smile, but it always helps to get a white smile. In fact, when I started focusing on having a wider smile, this is when I got a lot more compliments. Now, of course you have to do this safely. You don't want to ruin your enamel. You don't want to be 20 years old with the teeth of a 60 year old. So do this with caution. What I do is crest whitening strips and only when I feel like I need to. And even then I don't do it that often, but trust me, my smile is one of the more complimented areas. And the majority of that comes from having a white smile. Now this was kind of new to me because I never really had clear skin growing up. It wasn't until I became consistent with my skincare routine and found one that works for me. That's how I changed everything and that's exactly how I get the compliment your skin looks so clear. Now, yes, sometimes I still struggle with acne, but I notice most of the time that happens is because I fall off my skincare system. So staying consistent is definitely the most important step. Healthy eating, drinking a ton of water, all these things help a ton. And now because I follow all of these, my skin is soft, my skin is clearer than it's ever been. And of course, it's more than just washing your face. There's other steps you could take to take your skin to the next level. One being is using a moisturizer every day. Now I like Tish Henley, but you could find whatever one works best for you. And the thing that I can't stress the most is staying on top of it. Learning to be an extrovert was one of the hardest things I've done. When I was younger, it was very hard for me to go out and talk to random people. And if I did decide to do that, it was even harder for me to keep eye contact. To this day, sometimes I still struggle with it. Sometimes I have to remind myself to have good eye contact and speak with confidence. Those two are the keys to being well-spoken and having confidence when you're talking to somebody. Now look, this is definitely a skill that you need to build up. You can't wake up one day and decide, I'm gonna be an extrovert. But trust me, this is one skill you definitely should start working on. One thing I've learned recently is the more you're able to talk to people, the more you 
could learn and eventually possibly be even more successful. So because of that, that's one of the compliments I love receiving. And even to this day, it's something I'm still working on. So I'm not perfect at this. In fact, nobody's perfect at this. All the people that you think are very well spoken, they're probably struggling with it just as much as you are, except they're a little bit further down the road and have made a lot more progress in this skill. But again, that could be you if you decide to work on it. There is nothing better than receiving this compliment. It just tells you your hard work is paying off in the gym. So I've been lifting for some time now. So in the gym or even when I'm wearing regular clothes, I receive this compliment from time to time. When it comes to the gym, it's pretty hard to always feel good about yourself. There's a term called body dysmorphia, which pretty much means that you really nitpick your own physique and you struggle with confidence when it comes to your own physique. Now you gotta keep in mind, this is very common. And it's something that I still struggle with to this day. What I like to tell people is you are going to be the last person to really see the results. And that being said, if you start to hear that you have a nice physique, that you are very fit, the chances are your hard work is paying off and you're moving in the right direction. Now you just have to keep in mind with this compliment and pretty much any other, you gotta give yourself credit for moving in that right direction. And by no means does that mean that you should slow down, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Let's move on to the next compliment. So I always try to talk about this here and there in my videos, but no matter what you're doing, you should have a goal. You should always be thinking of ways to achieve that goal. Now, this is a little bit hard to say, but if you're able to achieve that goal in the next day or so, and you had just set it, then you are setting your goals way too low. You should definitely have goals for the end of the week. That is a good thing, but you should have goals that it's going to take you a long time, whether it's one year, five years, or even 10. Think about things that you want to achieve. And on a daily basis, think about ways that you can get closer to achieving that goal. Here in the compliment, you're doing so well. It's nice to know that your close friends or whoever told you this is understanding the work that you're putting in. And again, moving towards that goal. No matter how many compliments you receive, don't let that get to your head too much. You should always be thinking of ways to improve. And eventually you're just going to be hearing these compliments all the time. Now the compliment you have nice hair can mean two things. They like your hairstyle or your hair is soft and healthy. I'm gonna be showing you how to get both of these. Let's start off with the hairstyle. Now I love switching out my hair products. I have quite a few that I rotate through, but all of them give me the same thing, a wavy, messy hairstyle. Now I keep mine going back. So I've been using this little product to push my hair back. Sometimes I use sea salt spray. Sometimes I use hair clay. Sometimes I just put a leave-in conditioner. Now all these products give me the slightest difference, but sometimes I have fun with that slight difference. What I always say is the little things can go such a long way. All the hair products that I use, I recommend. Whatever suits your hairstyle, the best is a product you should chase. The best way to know what suits you the best is by experimenting. Now let's talk about how to get healthy hair. It's probably one of my favorite topics. Of course, more hair products. But instead of using products to style your hair, these are hair products specifically designed to make your hair healthier. The one that I've been big on lately is argan oil. It's spread evenly throughout your hair and it makes a world of a difference. There's also oils to make your hair thicker, less frizz. Like I mentioned earlier, prevention is very important and you want to prevent your hair from getting damaged from the sun. You need hair products that have a heat protected. This will protect you from the sun or if you're using a blow dryer, on. it's a good pre-styler. Again, everything is going to be linked in the description. Now I talked a little bit about style in this video. If you're just starting out and you want to know how to build the perfect wardrobe for the fall, I have a video that's going to show you exactly that. Other than that, see you in the next one. Later.